Welcome to M Sport and the Drive DMAC Fiesta Trophy day for co-drivers and drivers ahead of Rally Portugal, the opening round of their championship. Today, the guys will get a chance to find out exactly what they'll be doing this year, what challenge lies ahead, and they'll also get to have a go in the R2 Fiesta. Throughout the day, this year's contenders will take part in various activities, learning more about the championship itself and being introduced to the people who will be guiding them through the season ahead, as well as getting to know each other. The Drive DMAC Fiesta Trophy is the ideal stepping stone into the WRC, as Malcolm Wilson explains. Well, I think there's enough evidence there when you look at the last three years of the Junior Championship. And uh, if you think of Craig Breen, Elvin Evans and Pontus Tiedemann, they've all got basically professional drives now in, uh, in, in mostly in WRC. So there's no better basically platform or base to build on for any young driver uh, than to get into something like you know, the, uh, the DMAC Drive Trophy. Yeah, I'm very confident. I mean, a, th a big input and a very important thing for a young driver trying to get to top is that, you know, he needs to be in a competitive car, but more importantly, he then needs to be in a reliable car. And of course, with the three years experience that we've had running the, the Fiesta R2 in the, in the Junior Championship, then we feel that we've got a really, really strong and reliable and uh, competitive package. So we, we certainly believe it's the ideal platform for them to, uh, to build a you know, potential careers in WRC at a higher level in the future. It's it's very good opportunity for young driver to 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 compete in this Drive Team at Fiesta Trophy, uh, and I think it's one of the best options. It's it's it good price and uh, the costs are not so high, and uh, every, everyone has the same car, uh, the same conditions. So for for me, it's it's the best choice. I think so. I'm looking forward to it. I think we. I think this this season we have a good mixture of uh, great uh, great drivers. The, we have different drivers from different countries, and uh, maybe also the, the level of uh, driving skills are also a bit different. But but it will be it will be definitely very interesting season, and and we will see what will happen. It it will be the second season for me in World Rally Championship, but. Uh, um, I got a lot of experience last year and uh, I hope I will, I will do great. Of course it's going to be really tough, I'm uh, first year in the WRC and I haven't done any of the rallies but it's going to be a really uh, big learning uh, year and we should get ready and uh, we'll do our work and we'll see how it goes throughout the year. Uh, for sure Colin, uh, Colin McRae is everyone's uh, hero, he's, uh, what he's left behind is, uh, is amazing and that's why when I saw this car, I said, I want, I want to be here, so... But the, the resting on the car was your idea. I'm not responsible for the movie. Uh, this year, the, the unique uh, rival for me, I think, I'm myself, and I have to do the season with cool head, uh, the sides for go slow, go slow, no flat out always in all the stage. And we'll see what's happened. I, I hope this will be my year. Yeah, yeah it's, the car is now is like my, my leg or my arm. It's a, a good car, it's a really, really, really good suspension with dampers. Uh, we'll see what's happened. Uh, I think this is my year, it's the, the year to have the, the good mind. Sometimes uh, put uh, eyes in my mind and no stress and no think always in go flat out. Because it's a really good program with the Mac and M Sport. The price is so good, the low cost, it's, it's too good for the drivers to, to can drive this, this competition. And everything, it's, it's really good, the drivers, to 12 drivers over the world. And it's, it looks very really competitive to everyone. This is my first time I come here to M Sport, and, and I'm really, for example, this room. I mean, all the history you have in this room. I'm still a bit disappointed that there's not that wrecked car here, but <laughs> well, now for the season now, it's uh, I'm definitely excited. It's a huge opportunity, and uh, we were driving with Elfin this morning and comparing what he did a few years ago. He won the shootout, and 
and now he was already driving WRC. So I mean, he's really a model to follow. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Of course, there is there is there is pressure. It's like a double side that it, it gives lots of opportunities, of course. But people in the other side they expect that hey, there's Vatan and he must drive like his dad, and it, it's not going like that way. I need also time, and um, but uh, overall I'm more privileged to have this name. It gives a lot of opportunity. Well, it 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 looks really like me. Yeah, you can see yourself there, yeah? <laughs> yeah, a bit. Hopefully in a few years we could have the same picture in front of here, but <laughs> instead there will be WRC cars. <laughs> yeah, so we have... Nostalgic ha pieces. Yes, we have. Well, only now recently we started to gather all, uh, all our dad's helmets and all these things, and we have it in the room. And Of course, it's really nice to, to have, because it's part of our family, and to have that, and, and every piece every has a history behind, a story behind, so to have that, it's important to, to save those things. Malcolm Wilson takes some time out of his busy schedule to guide the crews through the M Sport workshop as they head for a seat fitting in the R2. So before we go through into the workshop where you guys will get all your seat fitting and everything, basically this is where the old part of the building ends and then this is the new section. And this particular car here is uh, one that we're really proud of because it's the first Focus to win a World Championship event, which was 1990 Safari, 1999 Safari Rally with Colin McRae on only its third event. So it's, um, you can see it's got pride of place, so it's a, a very important car to us. So come on to see where the cars are uh, built. So this is the new uh, R5. This is the what? The this is the 50th uh, R5 car to be built. Um, so we've now we've got orders for about 60, 68, 69 cars. It's the Fiesta you're doing the seat fitting in, not the Bentley. <laughs> okay. Hope it all goes okay, guys. Both driver and co-driver take time to ensure that they are comfy in their new office. The countdown is now on for the opening round of the Drive DMAC Fiesta Trophy. The gravel stages of Rally Portugal are first up for our crews. You'll be able to keep up to date with the competing crews this season with our event videos, full of action and information. You can also stay up to speed with the guys on Twitter by following at DMAC underscore tyres.